Hey everybody, Dave really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on K Toyonaga's route on Chapter 7, my one and only. Things have been working out pretty well for K, but they're falling apart for his twin brother now, unfortunately. Let's see if we can find some way to turn things around for his brother without getting K mad. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Several nights later, I got a call on my phone. Hello? Hi, it's me. So? Yeah, sorry for calling so late. Don't worry about it. What's going on? Uh, so? Well, the last time I saw So, he looked so depressed. I still hadn't found out why. Now is my chance to find out. There's a job I'd like your help with. Are you free this Saturday? Saturday? Yeah, I don't have anything that day. Okay, good. I'll message you the place in time. See you then. Alright, goodbye. The moment I hung up the phone, Kay spoke to me. Was that so? Yeah, he wanted me to work with him. Oh? Oh, what? It's just weird that he picked you specifically for the job. Maybe. You don't think he knows any other stylist that could do it? It's not like you're famous or anything. Why would he pick you? I don't know. Considering his fame, there was no real reason for Sol to need to choose me. Are you going to do it still? I already said yes. I can't back out now. Whatever. What's wrong? You seem a bit moody tonight. Not really. Because he's not as clueless as you. I don't care what you do. It makes no difference to me. Here is a new emotion for you to learn. Jealousy. You can use this for your acting now. From his voice, I could easily tell that he wasn't happy about it. Perhaps declining the job would have been the smart thing to do. That Saturday, I went to the studio to work with So, like I had promised. I'm thinking this outfit would be good for you today. It matches what the others were wearing on the set much better. Well, I don't know much about fashion, so I'll leave it to you. So is so cute. Really? You don't? You're always so nicely dressed. I figured that you would know all about it. Well, I don't. I'm just an acting fool. I don't know anything really except how to act. Hmm, well then, maybe you're a natural at it. You're way better than Kay at least. I can't believe you're twins and yet so different. So looked into my eyes with sincerity, capturing my gaze. Do really? Yes? Just then. Knock knock. Are you almost done with this outfit in there? The rehearsal's about to start. How much longer are you going to take? Sorry, we'll be right out. So, we've got to hurry. Right, we can talk about this later. He quickly changed into his outfit and headed out into the studio. Sol seemed like he wanted to talk to me about something, but I had no idea why. Two hours later, I found out. Nice work, Sol. How did it go? Fine, I guess. I'm not sure. It was a variety show, right? Do you have trouble with those? It's hard for me to talk about myself. I don't have any problems when I'm acting a role, but when it's me being me. Well, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Don't worry about it. I busied myself with brushing off his clothes, but after he changed and put them away. I'm all done here. There's nothing else, right? If not, I'm going to head out. Wait. Hmm? His shoulders slumped, and his gaze slowly dropped to the ground. Are you free after this? If it's not a bother, there's something I want to talk to you about. The two of us headed to a nearby cafe to sit down and talk. Ah, the cafe that was used in no other scenes except for Akira's storyline. Not long after we sat, the waitress bought us some water and came to take our orders. Welcome! Can I get you two something to drink? Um, I'll take some milk tea, please. Water. S so Very well, milk tea and water. I'll be right back with your drinks. She spoke very cordially. After taking her order, she scurried off toward the kitchen. I leaned towards So and spoke in a quiet voice. So, if you wanted water, you already had a glass in front of you. Oh. His cheeks and ears flushed red with blush. You didn't have to embarrass him like that, really. S sorry I was so nervous I didn't even notice. What are you so nervous about? What did you want to talk about anyway? 
He only answered with silence. Something about his recent behavior was making me curious. After a while, So finally lifted up his chin and spoke. How are things coming with Kay? Um, well... Better than before, at least. He hasn't been talking to any girls, at least not that I know of. Oh. I studied his face. For some reason, it looked like hearing that had made him even more displeased. But he hasn't said he loves you, has he? Well, no. It seemed like Kay was content just treating me like a toy for now. But I'm fine with that for the time being. Kay didn't whisper sweet words in my ears or bring me flowers. But even if he didn't act like a typical lover, I still wanted to be at his side. The ice in my cup let out a loud crack, breaking the silence. Your relationship is unhealthy. Who are you to judge? Just because it's unconventional doesn't mean it doesn't work. Are you really happy being treated like a toy? Do you even feel loved? This time it was me who was at a loss for words. Why was so telling me all this in the first place? Could it be... Are you that against me and Kay being together? You remember that I said you should get away from him at the very beginning, right? I feel the same way now, but for very different reasons. What? What reason is that? Because he wants you. His brow furrowed with distress, and he stared down at the table. It was quiet for a moment. Sorry. I've never told anyone this before, so it's not easy for me. Hmm? I felt completely lost. So noticed my confusion and placed his hand on top of mine. His eyes looked into mine with sincerity. And then... At first, I thought you were like all the other girls that went after him. I didn't go after him. After his looks or trying to become famous. That you would get used up and disappear, never to be heard from again. But when he hurt you and I saw you crying there. I wanted to help you, to console and comfort you. Oh, soul. Those feelings kept getting bigger and bigger. Before I knew it, my eyes were always on you. Uh, Was this really happening to me? I listened on with disbelief as he continued speaking. His hand atop mine squeezed gently around mine. If it was me, I would never let you cry like that. I would never hurt you like that. I would take care of you, and never treat you like a toy. His face was always so calm and cool, but now it was full of emotion. So please, go out with me. The confession was so straightforward and powerful that my muscles froze in place. Uh, What was I supposed to say? Did I want to return his feelings or not? A kind smile pulled on his lips, and he shook his head. You don't have to answer right now, but if you choose me, I'll never let you down. I promise, I'll make you happier than you could ever be with him. So, everything felt so unreal to me, I thought I would wake up from a dream at any moment. I stumbled back home in a stupor after So and I had parted ways. I'm home. Kay turned his attention from the TV to me at the door. And that took a while? Did you stop somewhere on your way back? Um, I will tell him the truth because it's probably something that would come back to bite me anyway if I didn't. Well, I had some tea with So. What's with that? Does he have a thing for you now? My heart thumped so loudly, I thought it might give me away. Yeah, right. He just wanted to thank me for helping today. I tried to answer in a way that wouldn't make Kay angry with So. Weird. He never tried stealing a girl from me before. (laughs) He's totally not falling for the lies. He knows what's up. He ain't no clueless character. Maybe he knows you too well to try. Besides, he already knows that we have a relationship, right? He stared at me for a moment, but I couldn't read the emotions in his eyes. Oh well. It seemed I had either succeeded in fooling him, or he didn't care enough to push it. In any case, I decided to change into more comfy clothes after getting home. Uh? But then Kay suddenly grabbed me from behind. Kay, let go! Instead, his arms around me gripped tighter. He tossed me in the bed and jumped on me, attacking my lips. Mm? His tongue dug into my mouth, spiraling and slithering around my own. If a kiss could be anything but tender and gentle, this was it. Kay, stop! I struggled to break from his wild assault, but was powerless against his strength. You always tell me to stop, but you never mean it. I know you want me so bad. Uh, 
He grabbed a handful of my shirt and ripped it off my body. Wow, he is forceful. And strong. The words so spoke to me earlier came to mind. Are you really happy being treated like a toy? Do you even feel loved? As Kay forced his will upon me, I realized the reality of those words. Kay treated me like a toy. Could I ever feel loved and happy like this? That moment, I made up my mind. I'll let him have his way because I understand the type of person he is. And I can deal with it. I shook my head to cast those thoughts aside. Kay and I never had a normal relationship to begin with. Even so, I loved him for who he was. All the while, his lips kissed my nape and rolled across my collarbone. Ooh. <laughs> Tickled by the sensation of his lips, my body jerked. He smirked as if enjoying teasing me and rained kisses upon my body. You're even more sensitive now than the first time we did it. N no, I'm not. Yeah, you are, and I'll prove it to you. Your body needs me. It craves me. Look how much you love it when I touch you. He stared down at my exposed body with sensuous eyes. You need me. You couldn't live without me. Kay had molded my body and spirit into his own personal slave. That night, he took my body. He wanted to make very sure that I couldn't live without him. The next day, Kay and I went to the studio together for work. This was going to be the final day of shooting for the drama. Thanks to Kay's improving performance, the ratings were better than ever. Come hell or high water, we have to finish today. Is everyone up for it? Yeah. Kay, I'm gonna eat your best today. And then again, with how you've been lately, I won't have to worry about you. Oh, I've always been this good. You just never realized it before. How many times has he said that? Kay held his chin high to gloat to everyone. What a big mouth. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Yeah, but no one will argue that he hasn't made huge improvements since we started. What in the world could have happened these past few months to make him change so much? Do you think he's feeling the pressure from his office? It's a do-or-die situation, maybe? <laughs> Listening to them talk so highly of Kay felt as good as if they were complimenting me. Huh? Just then, I noticed a stray thread stuck to Kay's shoulder. I walked over toward Kay. Take it off him, of course. I reached out my hand to grab the thread off his shoulder. Moo. What, did I surprise you? But Kay turned sideways to evade my hand. The forward momentum made me lose my balance and I tumbled forward. Yeah! I crashed to the ground, falling flat on my face. I've never seen anyone trip so bad before. So much for lending him a hand. Off in the distance, the doorknob clicked as it turned, and the door swung open. It was so... Uh. Uh. Our eyes met and we stared at each other awkwardly. Good morning, So. Good morning. Hey, So, we're just about to get started. Alright. At first glance, So appeared just the same as he always did. But I knew he had deeper worries on his mind. So must be eagerly waiting to hear if I had an answer for him yet. If I didn't intend to date him, I should tell him as soon as possible. Come over here so we can go over the schedule for today. Okay, so? Be right there. Okay. The two of them met up with the producer to talk about the filming today. When the camera started, it would be their very last time on the stage. Why is it? Why does everything I touch disappear from my grasp forever? And yet, for some reason... I don't care at all anymore. Isn't that silly? No, I completely understand that. A light sprinkling of snow fell upon their heads. It's going to be cold tonight. Wanna warm up with a drink? I'd like that. Kay was so overflowing with emotion that even a short line was incredible. He was an entirely different actor from when his drama started. Cut! Great job! That's it! A chorus of cheers broke out in the studio as everyone celebrated the end. It's finally over. It's like a huge weight was just lifted off my shoulders. Kay. I thought for a moment about what to say to him now that it was all over. Uh, you looked so cool. Kay proudly put his hands on his waist and pushed out his chest. You just noticed? I've been telling you that for the longest time. That's not what I meant. I've always thought you were cool. Kay, I'd like to have one more meeting with everyone together. What? A meeting? We're done shooting, right? Why do I have to come? I had a feeling you would say that. 
Kay had made some serious improvements to his acting ability lately. On the other hand, his personality was still as sour as ever. Well, say goodbye to those clothes. He'll never wear them again. Kay was undressing and folding up his clothes. Yeah, I guess you're right. At first I hated this drama. I thought it was a stupid waste of time. But now that it's over... You kind of liked it? Let's just say it wasn't so bad after all. It had been thanks to this drama that his acting career was going so well. He wouldn't admit it, but he was a changed actor now. All thanks to me. Are you thirsty? I'll run and get you a drink. Sure. I could drink something. Coffee, please. I'll be right back. I'm gonna run into so, aren't I? It's gonna take longer than I thought. I went to buy some coffee and came back five minutes later. Huh? Kay, where are you? Replaced with his brother. Kay was missing. He must have gone to say goodbye to his fellow actors or something. That doesn't sound like him. Either that or he forgot something of his in the studio. Click. Kay? I was wondering where you... I turned around to face the door, but it wasn't Kay who stood there. So? Seeing him in front of me froze my legs in place. I would have liked a better place to ask you this, but... Seeing as how this is the last time I might see you, I have no other choice. Well, you have my phone number. We could always meet up somewhere else at another time. Uh, I had a pretty good idea of what he came here to ask. If you have an answer for me, I'd like to hear it. Will you go out with me? He asked in such a nice way, I couldn't even imagine Kay saying it. If I said yes, I had the feeling Soul would treat me right. I wouldn't be his toy, and he would do whatever he could to make me happy. Knowing that, it made my decision that much harder. I... So gently took my hand in his. With eyes that so remarkably resembled Kay's, he stared into mine. I love you. I'd do anything for you. So please, choose me. Ah! Uh, it would be so easy to just say no, and I knew I had to anyway. But when he stared at me like that, I just couldn't say anything at all. Just then. So, what the hell are you doing? Kay! He stopped towards So with an enraged face, glaring at him with furious eyes. Kay grabbed his hand and tried to yank it off me. She's mine. Let her go. I own her. You don't. I thought you knew how to keep your paws out of other people's business. So wasn't letting go of my hand. She isn't your thing. Take that back right now. His voice was deep and cold. Oops, sorry, I didn't do that deep. He was hiding a silent and controlled anger in his eyes. What the hell is your problem? Kay's face twisted as he stared at Sol with confusion. It must have been the first time he had seen his brother act like this. She isn't some toy. You can't treat her like this. She is a toy. I treat her just fine. Do you want me to tell you how well I treat her in bed? Sol's eyes flared with anger the moment he heard it. He formed a fist and pulled his arm back to throw a punch at Kay. Stop! I had to do something. Uh, protect Kay, and I hope so doesn't accidentally punch me. I jumped in front of Kay to shield him. Moo, get out of my way. Stop! No fighting! You two need to calm down! They looked at me bewildered for a moment, but that seemed to calm them down. <sighs> so lowered his arm back to his side. Kay grabbed me by the arm and pulled me forcibly toward him. Come with me. He pulled me toward the door of the dressing room. Kay, wait! I twisted and shook my arm, trying to wrestle myself free. Just shut up and come. He screamed out in anger, frightening me into submission. Jeez, it's almost three o'clock and I wanted to stop there, but I can't stop there. I have to read the next one. <laughs> Darn it! Alright, so hope to see you in the next video or in some of my other ones. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. The really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.